Hello, my name is Chris Bennett, and this is a special message to Dr. Kenneth Shine, Dr. Coburn Allen, who I met a few days ago, and uh, my father's colleagues back at UCLA, uh, Dr. David Canham. So Dr. David Canham and Dr. Shine were the doctors of Norman Cousins, and Norman Cousins went on a journey of trying to get healthy and reverse his heart disease with healthy living. He explored all the options and the details are in this book about working with Dr. Shine and Dr. David Canham to, uh, and then he went and looked at the Pritikin Longevity Center, which my father had been the founding medical director of uh, uh, a few years earlier, six, five or six years, five years, four years earlier. Um, and so this right here is my father's book. In 12 weeks, you can control your high blood pressure without drugs. It was endorsed by Norman Cousins and two other professors at UCLA. And uh, Dr. Kenneth Shine, you didn't endorse it. I'm curious as about why. Um, and uh, Dr. David Canham, you didn't endorse it either. That's interesting. There was. Norman Cousins and Dr. David Glassick endorsed it, and one other who I don't remember the name of. And, uh, but there was two at Harvard, uh, Dr. David Brenner, and at the University of Texas, Dr. Um, Dr. I'm blocking on the name, but he's a top expert in the world, Dr. Kaplan, Dr. Norman Kaplan. He's a top expert in the world on high blood pressure. His studies and Big books on hypertension are at every medical university. He's number one. And um, Dr. Farquhar at Stanford University, University of Maryland, Dr. James Lynch, The Medical Consequences of Loneliness, a professor at University of Rochester, and one at Albert Einstein University. So more endorsements than any book I've ever seen. More than Dean Ornish's books, he has more like celebrity endorsements, but unfortunately there's a, not a lot of doctors that will endorse these kinds of books about health, about not doing any drugs, getting off all the drugs. Um, but anyway, these ideas, which Norman Cousins worked for 10 years as a professor of medicine at UCLA, to get these ideas integrated into the medical system. So, but they weren't, and my father got poisoned by bad drugs. And then his, after that, the doctors refused to provide him what he needed, physical therapy, for the past two years. And so he's been suffering at home in pain, and he's gonna die in a couple months unless I get him exactly what he needs exactly what every American deserves, exactly what my father designed back in 1979 when he heard about Pritikin, who was a nobody, working hard on, Pritikin was working hard on proving the diet and exercise worked. And he was doing an incredible job, but he only had a hotel room that he was renting. So my father brought in the investor. They bought a hotel in Santa Monica on the beach. And They'd have 100 people stay there for a month to exercise and eat right and learn about healthy living together. They'd bring in the wife and some of the family members to participate and learn too so that they could go home and have a team. So my father was part of putting that on the map and my father put a lot of ideas in there. He finally left because he wanted to put more emphasis on exercise and stress reduction because uh, that was a big interest of my father. So he set up a similar program at California Primary, Phys Primary Physicians in Southern California. And, but during the time before that, he worked with all of you, Dr. Shine. Then you became the Dean of the UCLA Medical School in 1986. Norman Cousins produced a report on how to, improve medical care and medical training to integrate 
people's emotions into figuring out why they're getting sick. So he provided you and he met with you and all that. It looks like only a small trickle, a small fraction of this information has gotten into the medical system because it's certainly not required reading. So because it's not required reading, everybody in my family is sick as hell. I'm the healthiest one, okay? And I'm determined to turn that around. My aunt developed cancer a month and a half ago. Stage four colon cancer spread to her liver in Denver at the University of Colorado, where my, where her ex-husband, the father of her daughter, was a, is a, still a professor and has been for 40 years. So she went in, they removed all the cancer. She was there for a week. They said, you've got a clot in your leg. We're going to send you home, but you got to go get Eliquis to a blood thinner. So she went to the pharmacy. She went home. She went to the pharmacy. It cost $400. So she didn't get it because she only had $2,000 in the bank. She waited a day. And then finally she told us, we said, we will pay for it. But it was too late. She had a bunch of strokes and she's been in the hospital ever since. So as far as I can tell, her cancer was caused by a massive amount of stress from having a broken, traumatized family that she was living with. And I won't get into the details, but it was a massive amount of stress. I'll just put it that way. Over the years, nobody in the family got any information. They were all going into doctors on a variety of things that were probably caused by stress. And so she developed severe cancer. She went to the hospital, life-threatening cancer. Here, we'll cut it out. We'll send you home. You're scared as hell. Her stress goes through the roof. She thinks she's going to die very soon. Okay. What she really needs is to go in an intensive healthy living program in a, like the Pritikin Longevity Center for an entire month to reset her internal stress system, exercise, eat a great diet, and see if she can turn that cancer around. That's never happened in history as far as I can tell. The Pritikin Longevity Center is now in a Trump-owned hotel on Miami Beach. It's the longest profitable healthy living program of its kind. Dean Ornish, I don't think, has had a residential program in a hotel. He has an outpatient program and he has a lot of great books. I've been trying to get him involved and I think he's on the verge of it. But um, my other friend got statins six months ago and his health went over a cliff because he already had a liver problem. And it looks like there was a bad reaction. He has got this big swelling thing and it damaged his back and he couldn't sleep for weeks from the intense pain. Okay, so this has got to stop. So I'm going to skip through this. There's a long story here. 2001, Dr. Canham, you treated my dad. He had atrial fibrillation. It was life-threatening. You must have said something about stress, but then he kept working, and six months later, you said you might need the catheter ablation. At no point during that six months did you put him through an intensive, healthy living program where he could do some serious looking at stress. He was working 70 hours a week taking care of dying patients at nursing homes, seven nursing homes for Healthcare Partners Medical Group in Los Angeles. Dying patients who were taking a bunch of medications and they were dying in front of their families. Okay. And he was doing that for 10 years because they shut down his healthy living program at Healthcare Partners 10 years earlier because there was no money in it. So there's a $40 million grant that one of your former friends has, Dr. David Merrill. He got $40 million in 2020. So I contacted, I got introduced to him by Dr. Greg Cole at the UCLA Dementia Clinic and Mary Kay Easton. They have a thousand patients there, he told me, and they're not getting any treatment except for drugs that don't work and then sent home. Sorry, there's nothing we can do. So he got this grant two years ago. He hasn't used it yet. It's supposed to be $40 million for 
Healthy Living Solutions for Dementia. I contacted Greg Cole and he said, oh, you got to talk to this guy, to David Merrill. I talked to him. I found out about the grant. I talked to Dr. Dale Bredesen at UCLA who wrote three books, The End of Alzheimer's, The End of Alzheimer's Program, like eight years ago. So when my dad got dementia, I didn't know anything about that for the next six years. And so I went to all of his doctors and said, hey, it's stress, stress, stress. And they said, no, it's not. Your whole family can continue fighting for the rest of your life and it won't affect your health. Don't worry. So the war didn't stop. That's in another video. So um, I said, hey, you guys, let's all come together and we'll bring Dr. Bre Dale Bredesen in. Talked to Dr. Sherzai and got him to be my dad's doctor. He wrote a book, The Alzheimer's Reversal Program or something like that. Loma Linda University. Then all of a sudden the door starts slamming and I found out that they... Dr. Dale Bredesen, a year earlier, had been hired by the clinic to treat those thousand patients with his stress reduction, exercise, bring the family together, vitamins. He got mediocre results because it was an outpatient. That's what I told him. I told him he needed an intensive program in a hotel for a month, just like the Pritikin program and the rich people do and Henry Waxman, Congressman Henry Waxman. Dr. Shine, you know Congressman Henry Waxman personally. You've testified to him multiple times. So he's done that program and a numerous Congress people, maybe even senators. So I found out that Dr. David Merrill didn't want to spend that money right then. He wanted to do, you know, little studies, I think. So I'm coming back to him now, please. Two years behind now, it would have been better two years ago, but again, let's go to the dean of the medical school, the dean of the entire UC system, I mean, the director, the owner, whoever, okay, they have $500 billion in their endowment. They can use that to save my dad and create a pioneering, pro pioneering program. I think I have Tracy Reiner on board. I had her on board 10 years ago, but we got derailed. Um, she was going to get her mom, Penny Marshall, into it, but we got derailed. Um... She was suffering from cancer. Then she died a couple years later, unfortunately. So I think I got her interested again. Her ex-husband's girlfriend's mother has severe dementia. And I said, let's get her into there. How about that guy, Tony Bennett, that great singer? Let's get him into there. I read all about him. And he doesn't know about the cure. Dr. Dale Bredesen is on the Maria Shriver Foundation for looking for a cure for dementia amongst a lot of other doctors, and he hasn't gotten a dime as far as I can tell. She's raising millions of dollars that's going to universities for drug research. So, Dr. Shine, you never made this mandatory reading in the medical system. My dad has had numerous negative experiences. He's gonna die. Let's come together. This video is gonna go to David Merrill. Everybody can find at the UCLA Medical School so we can turn it around and fix the entire system really fast. So the Pritikin program was in the Lowe's Hotel for 10 years. It's available now. It's owned by the Chinese. The current owner is in jail. They've been trying to sell it for a few years. We could get it for a fraction of the cost. Okay. Tracy Reiner wants to help me create a TV show. We're going to put my dad's thing in TV. This thing in TV, Norman Cousins books in TV, Dean Ornish's thing in TV, ACES studies in TV, adverse child experiences. Every single thing that works that's not getting a hearing or getting funded in the medical system is going to get in our thing. So we got a week to jump on this and help my dad. We're going to get a transport. We're going to get that hotel staffed with the $40 million. We're going to get a matching grant out of the $500 billion. Remember, UC San Francisco developed drug, memantine. Why did they develop memantine? Because it's supposed to block the uh, excitatory neurotransmitter in the brain. What's that called? I'm blocking on it. Okay, anyway, why zebras don't get ulcers? 
written by a professor at Stanford 20 years ago. He already identified that problem. Stress is going up. It burns up cells in the brain. I saw that. I'm a witness that with my dad. Wells Fargo trying to foreclose. Millions of dollars stolen from his trust with Wells Fargo's help. And, you know, it was a stress overload for my dad. Uh, family conflict, etc., etc. So it all added up. Going to the doctors, no help from them. They never read these books. They never heard of these ideas. Dr. Dale Bredesen didn't get a platform. Nobody jumped up and down when they found his book for the first time eight or ten years ago. Okay? It's not happening even today. So um, we can save my dad. He's like the six million, six million dollar man in my eyes. We can save him. We can save all those other patients. Chuck Norris wrote in his book in 2008, it's called Black Belt Patriotism, that each year, 2 million Americans die from illnesses which are reversible 